Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and it's Christmas so I'm going to make some Christmassy cookies or biscuits from Germany, Lebkuchen. So these are lovely little things, they're not too sweet and um, I do find that once I start on them I can't really stop so <laughs> but this is the first time I've made it myself so uh, wish me luck. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's do it. German gingerbread cookies, Lebkuchen. Okay, ingredients for Lebkuchen. Oh, I should, I should point out, this, this is a fairly simple, basic one. Um, you'll come across other recipes that have got a lot of fruit or a lot of nuts in. But the only nuts I've got is ground almonds. So I've got 160 grams of plain white all-purpose flour, 100 grams of ground almonds. 120 grams of butter cut into cubes, 60 grams of light brown sugar, that's demerara sugar, two egg yolks and two tablespoons of golden syrup, which is better than honey actually for this recipe for various reasons. Right, and also spices. I've got four teaspoons of ground ginger, half teaspoon of ground cloves and half teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm just going to separate the egg yolks before we start. Mm. <laughs> now we need to rub the butter into the flour just with your fingertips and you want to do this until you've got a mixture that looks like uh, coarse sand so there shouldn't be any big lumps of butter visible in the mixture come back in a while so then we can stir in ground almonds and the sugar I'm just crouching down so I don't get my uh, headpiece stuck in the lights <laughs> and then throw in the spices again the, the spices that you use will vary according to different recipes but uh, this one's pretty heavy on the ginger yum and then the baking powder and the salt about a half teaspoon and mixy mixy now, in a separate bowl, we need to whisk together the golden syrup. I'm just going to pop this in uh, a bowl of hot water for a minute to uh, make it more runny. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. That's better. Still not mega runny, but yeah, we'll probably manage. Pop the egg yolks in. Is it? I'm, I'm not massively sure about this procedure. It seems a bit weird to me. Okay, it's loosened up a bit, so now we pop that in there. Right, so now we'll mix the egg yolks and golden syrup in with the crumbs. Seems awfully dry. Yeah, but actually, if you just grab a bit, it does hold together quite nicely. So we make the lead cooking. Bit of flour on your worktop, grab a lump of the mixture and squash it flat. So it wants to be what maybe a centimetre, about half an inch thick. I'm going to do some round ones and some vaguely star shaped ones <laughs> with a vaguely star shaped cutter. I don't know what the point of that is, but I can't find any others. No doubt I'll find them after Christmas. There you go. Now you need your oven heated to 160 degrees Celsius if it's a fan oven, a convection oven. That's 180 for a conventional one and that is gas four. And we put these in for, well, 12 to 15 minutes. I'll check them after 12 because they can burn quite easily. While the lab cooking are cooking, um, we need to make up a, a simple sugar glaze for them. 
So I need 100 grams of icing sugar, confectioner's sugar. Actually that'll be enough, that's about 80 grams. Then we need just enough boiling water to make it come together in a smooth paste. Right, they've had 15 minutes, so a little bit soft, but uh, I think it'll be okay. I'll just whack those onto a wire rack to cool down. And then we'll glaze them. You need to glaze them while they're still warm. But obviously, they need to be cool enough to handle. Right, these are cool enough to glaze, so I'll just grab them and dip them in the syrup. Uh, and not the bottom, just the top side. And if you like, you can pipe decoration on it or, you know, stick decorative things on them, but I'm not going to. I just like them plain and simple. And also, I haven't got time for all that messing about. So, there you go. We'll let these dry. Then we'll do a taste test. Oh, yeah. And now it's taste test time. I've actually decorated these, like I said, I wouldn't, but um, in a, a fairly half-hearted way. I did glaze them with extra um, thicker glaze um, and I've just stuck some silver puffed rice things on around the edge and they've fallen off somewhere. Anyway, here we go. Mm -hmm. Those are gorgeous, really, really nice. And, um, mm. And I thought the ginger might be a bit overpowering, but um, go out and taste it now, it's coming through. It's really not overpowering. So, there you go. Lead Kuchen. Quite easy, amazingly tasty, and um, well worth it giving it a go. So, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, and see you next time.